And here we have a logical next category, which is a fresh one. The best international newcomer. One of America's most popular television stars became a pop star in early 87. The debut album, Return of Bruno, based on a humorous concoction of a legendary musician, is set by mishap and failure who never made the big time. But Bruce Willis did with Under the Boardwalk and Respect Yourself. Three natives of New York who didn't do a lot for Volkswagens during 1987, but licensed to ill, no sleep till Brooklyn, and fight for your right to party, put the Beastie Boys on the map and on the floor. Burrito Rock hit the top with La Bamba, put Los Lobos on the map in the United Kingdom as well, despite the fact they've been together now since the early 1970s. La Bamba was number one. It's been a year now since Terence Trent Darby first hit the airways with If You Let Me Stay. Three more hit singles down the road. His popularity continues to grow and grow. He has a sellout European tour and he's reached number one in the UK album charts twice. Call it hip hop, call it rap, call it electro funk, call it great. LL Cool J had his biggest success yet throughout the USA and Europe with a smash hit single, I Need Love. So the best international newcomer category. This is the very first year that the BPI Awards have actually been sponsored. And appropriately, we welcome a company who have a very long association with the world of music. To announce the winner in this category and make the presentation, we have the president of Pepsi-Cola Northern Europe, tomorrow the world, Wayne Mayo. It's a real thrill for Pepsi to be here this evening as part of this star-studded uh, show. We think of Pepsi as the choice of a new generation, so we're especially delighted to present an award to a new generation of talent drawn from around the world. Um, <laughs> You've had your two Pepsi matches. I've had my two oh, Pepsi matches. Well, shall we get on with it then? Yes, please. Um, the, uh, the award for the best international newcomer is Terence Trent Darby. Well, well, well. You saw him. Terence Trent Darby, born in New York, 25 years old, deserted the United States Army for music. Preacher father, his mother a gospel singer. Tomorrow he's uh, off back to New York, and in March a major US tour begins for him. His album, his debut album, has gone triple platinum. It's less than a year since he was doing showcase gigs in London at Ronnie Scott's Club. And he's come down to the Albert Hall to get this magnificent award. Terence Trent Darby. To make the presentation to Terence Trent Darby, would you please welcome the Bangles. last year. You gotta watch out Terrence. Um, the uh, the, the uh, trident comes off if you're not really careful with it. It's, I don't know. It's I can use it to eat oysters. It it's brilliant. Yeah, we were like spearing shrimp with them last year, but we were quite pleased to get one. <laughs> thank you very, very much. I'd like to thank, first of all, um, CBS for doing such a great marketing job. Um, I'd like to thank the salesmen who sort of get out there and do all the work and not get any of the credit. And I'd like to say that, as glad as I am to win this award, I'm slightly disappointed that I wasn't considered British simply for the, for the point that I was signed by a British company developed while living in Britain. And I was toasted, also very roasted, while living in Britain. And I would, I would have liked to have been embraced by the British record industry as I have been by the British public. I think, as the uncontrollable ego of 1987, that um, 
Home is where the heart is, and my home and my heart is here. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>